Hey guys, uh, so as of a few minutes ago, I uh, managed to get all of the bits and pieces put together from uh, Tron's grid server disk images uh, to be able to compile Pascal and PLM code from inside of Integrid. Integrid, of course, is an implementation of CCOS that runs under MS-DOS, CCOS being the uh, Compass computer operating system run on the grid Compass, but because of the magic of some virtual machine bits and pieces here, it can run just fine under MS-DOS as it is. So that includes all the various tools and development tools, etc. We bounce in and suddenly we're in grid land. Now because I set my startup file to be the development file that I'm working on, it literally launches straight into grid develop and opens up my test program. Driving grid develop here is a development file which we can look at by going to transfer and changing this development file which opens it up in grid write. We can see a um, handful of paths up here at the top. I need to make better use of these but you can basically specify where objects go, where listings go, and the default prefix of what you want to set. An interesting thing about the make files here is that they have the concept of a good tune and a bad tune which is literally just a bit of music that you can play whenever something goes good versus when something goes bad. Uh, so we have a number of tasks underneath that, such as uh, the sources for test prog so that you can uh, select, you know, so, you, so that you can segment all these things up. You have a link task because the Pascal compiler and the PLM compiler, etc., they output relocatable object files, which we then take and uh, pull in, link them against the appropriate libraries here, and we uh, output a test run file. Now I'm opting here to bind everything together and to remove uh, debug symbols from the resulting files to make it smaller. And I have to, because I'm creating a final executable, I have to set the segment size for the stack uh, to approximately 1500 bytes. And then, of course, there's test, uh, test test probe here, which just runs the resulting program if I ask it to. We'll go ahead and code Q out of this. And we can go ahead and edit source file. Since it's the only source file here, it's not going to ask me which file I'm going to edit, and it's going to launch right into it. Not much happening here, just fairly standard ISO Pascal, courtesy of the uh, Intel Pascal 86 compiler. Uh, I have to specify, since I'm using the compact uh, library, compact memory model, make sure that uh, we specify modules correctly, do the appropriate includes. These are includes that uh, define common data types and uh, console functions using the uh, CCOS calls. Uh, if I were to use write line, you know, read line, etc., then I would need to use the Pascal 86 runtime calls. Specify program. We have a little variable here to hold character. Display a little message, then wait for a key to press, and then the program ends. All good. We quit. We can try to compile and link it. Oop, I hit return have to hit confirm. <laughs> so here we go, parse, analyze, no cross-reference, create the object, and then it turns right around and does the link. At which point uh, I can do test here and it will literally take and run the resulting file. There we go, uh, object code being generated. And in fact, if I actually go out into the development executive, we can, uh, we can see the resulting files and whatnot that get created. Some of the most unusual, most unusual path delimiters I've ever seen. So we have a few artifacts here with the object, the Pascal file, and the runtime file, approximately 3.4K. So if we want to run that, we can do that. This is a back tick. Run. 
and it's not case sensitive. But as we can see, we're just hammering right along here. So I'll leave the video here. Uh, next, I'm going to try to see if I can make a uh, more complete uh, grid application using window calls, etc. So onward and upward. <laughs>